So here's some here's the stairs we put in. Previously there was a, a ceiling here, a wood floor, cut it out, put in the uh, the treads and the risers using a primed pine and painted, and then a oak um, tread, bull nose, ripped down the length. Um, here's the posts we put in temporarily. Can't really see it that well, but this is just I just secured it with um, eight-inch ledger lock bolts. And again, there's only one here because uh, I was just temporarily so I could set this dimension here. Um, what we did was um, cut the cut the hole out from above, uh, drilled. You can see it did some damage, but drilled pilot holes on each side of the square, and then came back and put a nail on it and snapped uh, a line and then I knew where I needed to cut um, and I cut out um, the the hardwood which is you can see it's got some tape on it I cut to the inside of that line and then the next the last course that was behind this this plane I manually took out with a um, you know pry bar and a chisel to keep this tongue because there's a piece of wood you can get it at uh, any sort of home center. <laughs> Here's how it looks. And this is what I'm going to use. See, it's got that rabbit kind of cut in it, and then the, the mortar is already cut in it as well. And that's what I'll use here. In this case, there's two, there's two tongue or two grooves, so and no tongue. So I bought number 10 biscuits, and I will uh, run this through. Uh, make sure it's the right overall depth so I have the same reveal on both sides because you can tell on this side you probably can't tell but this is only I don't know no, not even two knuckles and over here I have a, you know the first knuckle so I have uh, differing differing sides from left to right dimensions because you know hardwood isn't perfect so uh, for the hole and, and I'm going to rip this down and then cut in this uh, this mortise to make sure I can, um, you know, get the same reveal from left to right. And this um, this is a standard molding you can get just about anywhere. I think I got this at Home Depot. It's oak, um, but it's perfect because it has this rabbit in it, so it will hide. What we're going to put is a like a baseboard, you know, upside down to hide this this final joint, so you don't see this edge here, but yet you won't see the edge of that upside down. Uh, baseball. So that's uh, that's one part of the video, and um, you can see here that we have uh, I put in the handrails, and these are just temporarily in. In terms of uh, I'm going to take them out and use um, take them out and do uh, uh, what's that called? So this is the kit I used to adhere the post to the deck by a company called spring bolt um, or that's the product I guess this is probably the company sure would anyway the videos on YouTube they do a good job of describing you know the basics of how these work um, this is a massive one and three eighths hole that you have to get a paddle bit for and you just follow the instructions it couldn't be simpler if you can if you can put together a, a birdhouse I think you could probably put together you know these railing systems see here um, this is this is adhered to the deck with that with that um, this kit. Um, again, it hogs out a huge hole, so uh, one and three eighths. Of course, you can't see that, but um, um, one thing I would recommend is is um, you know have when you do drill, drill these big holes and you take all your measurements, you know, four or five times to make sure. Because in this case, I wanted. You know, I wanted this plane of this to line up with this plane, so your eye doesn't seem like these two posts are, you know, out of plane when you look down the axis of them. So if you look down here, you don't want it to look crazy. So, and the other thing was to make sure it was extended into the actual joists. You know, the decking. I have I have two by uh, tens that run through here, and they're doubled up. So there's two that run this way there's two that run this way and they die into this uh, carrying post with uh, joist hangers 
and then there's two over here at the beginning that run all the way to span to the middle beam in the basement. So I used a, a deep scanning uh, stud detector, you know, regular regular detector. It has a deep scan setting that seemed to work a lot better, and it found the joist is great because I measured back from this spot, which I knew this is a three-quarter inch piece of plywood, and I thought, okay, inch and a half back is first joist, it ends, then the next inch and a half, you know, so if three and a half inches back is where I have all that meat, uh, you know, I need to be, I need to be hitting th uh, no farther than three and a half inches back. And it turns out that when I, good thing I had the stud finder because the joists, when they're sistered, um, or not exactly sistered, I wouldn't say next to each other. So there is a small gap, and in some sp they look fine from when you look up from the basement when they, when I put them in. But when I went up top here, apparently I didn't close them off enough in this exact spot, or maybe there's more. But when I nail, you know, sister glue and screw the joists, apparently I didn't screw that one section. So um, when you when I drilled through there, there was a, a gap, and you can tell, you know, an inch and three eighths hole which is what this requires, um, this post to deck, and you only have two two by tens on end, which is inch and a half and inch and a half, three inches, you've got to hit that thing right in the middle. Otherwise, um, you're not going to have anything to bite into. So um, I used that system, um, but I just had to be really careful and was just probably took way longer than it should have because I was worried about hitting the proper structure and also um, getting the alignment all correct. But in terms of actually installing these and working with them, it, it was simple. It was just the layout to make sure you're, you're, you're good where you want to go. And then the vice versa, or also for the, um, the railing, this, um, there's a railing system. It's called a, you know, left to right. So there's a left spring and a right spring. And one is, they're both, they're coated with colors. Uh, one is red, one is not red. And you can see here, so I can turn that whole thing right now, which is really going to help when I have to drill the the balusters. You know, when I when I'll take this thing apart after I finish it and drill the holes and drill them into the the floor, and um, and then I can just tilt this whole bad boy out, put it on my balusters all the way down, and you know, and then slowly feed them in because you know normally that's the biggest pain. You know, when you put in stair balusters in is just to get them all aligned otherwise they they want to go everywhere so um, I, I, I dyed it into a you can see a rosette that I marked on the wall um, transfer the line over you know try to keep everything level and in the same plane so that so that post isn't you know cockeyed out or cockeyed in it's uh, it's directly you know perpendicular to this face um, and also, uh, you know, level uh, across from both posts. Um, after this, we're going to do the downstairs one, which is this post. Um, going to have a, another rosette here. Again, um, got to drill the the uh, the railing uh, into the wall with these those spring bolts. Uh, the only problem is, is that this is an angled drill. You know, you have to drill this at at this at this angle otherwise you know if you try to if I try to drill these through I would come out the other end of the railing imagine the railing you know going up in this angle so I had to drill the hole into here and the hole into here at the exact same angle um, as well as up here so I, I think I'm going to use a spring bolt system but I might just toe screw you know into the rosette because um, you know, drill at that precise angle both ways. If I get that wrong, there'll be a there'll be a gap. You know, the railing won't exactly sit flush. You know, and it's already you already got to cut the angle correctly. So then you got to drill it correctly. Uh, I don't know. I might just do toe nailing. You know, just go up from underneath and underneath the railing and take some three inch uh, wood screws, put them in here. So we'll see. That's next weekend. And then the top is going to be covered with an oak. Three quarter, I think I think it's three quarter by, you know, six or something like that, uh, or five and a half something. And then I'm gonna have to round it over. It's a square board. Got to finish that. So, 
still enough to do, but treads and risers are in. Um, some of the nail holes are putty. Got to putty the um, the some more of the sides. This is a pain in the ass, but see, like in the thread. So I'll talk about that next.